welcome back so in the previous lecture we have seen like introduction to implicit and explicit enhancement okay so now what we'll do we'll do one implementation for the implicit enhancement so what is the business requirement here i'm going to vs02 that is sales order in change mode we can also do with vs01 but that will take some time we have to enter all the details like stand, uh, like sold to party order type okay all the details we have to enter you can do that also but as of now i'll just continue with the existing sales order so what is my requirement as soon as i enter the material id here i want the default quantity should come from the material master so let me open the material master for this article so i'm going to mm02 here okay in the basic data one here we have gross weight and the net weight so which field is there for the gross weight we see it is mara b r g e w this is the mara field mara table field okay so what is my requirement whenever i'm creating the sales order the default the quantity should come from here okay so in real time i work on the real estate projects so in real estate how it works they sell the flat based on the carpet area right so they have the custom field so what they do either they use a standard field they rename this as a carpet area and they here maintain the carpet area like 1000 square feet 2000 square feet but the price of flat mostly if you have seen it is per square feet per square feet like carpet area okay so what we do in that case whenever user enter this material id so instead of entering the carpet area manually we select the value from this field okay so i copy this field name and same for the same i'm going to do the implementation so i will come out of this first and now i will go to se38 and for the sales side as this side mv45 afzz is the exit provided by sap in this include program we can add our custom code fine and here we have to use this routine form and form user exists move field to vbap the sales order line item table is vbap okay so here we can add our our logic if you see here like vbap zz field the xz field it just default some code is given okay this user exists can be used to move some fields into sales order document item work area will be ap okay so what we'll do first we'll go to edit enhancement options show implicit enhancement options after this we have to click on this icon enhance now here we can see the arrows are there we have to right click enhancement operation create implementation select the type of enhancement declaration or code i always go with code only here click on this create enhancement implementation z enh let's say default quantity enhancement for default order quantity i'll press enter here save in a package or local i'm saving in a package i'll select my existing request request okay so now we can add our code here so as i'm working the demo system i don't want other uh, other like learner should get affected by this enhancement so here i will write psi unum unum equals to kzfr only on my id i want this to be work and once our demo is done i will undo this enhancement okay so now here what i will do 
So if VBAP matnar is not initial, this means that the cell solder material is not initial and the concretive field in the cell solder is the KW mench. The KW mench is a concretive field and the VBAP KW mench is initial. And if so, what I have to do? I have to select the quantity from the gross weight of the material master. Okay, so here what I would write like select single which field I want. I want BRGEW. Okay, you can select as per your requirement, but I am here selecting only one field. Select single BRGW from Mara into VBAP. KW mench where matnar equals to VBAP matnar. Okay. In some case, suppose the data types data types are not matching. What you can do? Do a data declaration, declare a local variable. First select the value from in your local variable, then assign that to the VBAP respective field if your data types is not matching. Okay. I will save check. And activate. So this will activate or enhancement ZENH underscore default underscore quantity. So once this activation is done, okay. So now I will go to sales order change mode. You can create complete new order also, but here I am just showing the existing one. Okay, existing order I'm changing. If you want, you can create a complete new order. So I'm going to VS02. So before that, what I will do, I'll just change the material master. Instead of 18, here I will write 22. Okay, so net weight is 18 and cross weight 22. Fine, the material is change. So now in the sales order, I will enter the same material in the second line item. I'll just press enter. See here automatically we can see 22 now. Okay. Let's see the same in the debugging mode. I'll set a breakpoint here at row number 119. Again, I will enter one more material. I'll press enter. Here you can see the matnar is initial. Matnar is not initial, but the quantity is initial. So system is selecting the value from the material master. So let me just change the debugging mode. So I'm making that 25, 250. Just keep 250. Press enter. So now you can see 250. Fine. So in this way. We can do the implicit enhancement. This, as I explained, I use in real estate company where they sell the flat base on the carpet area and they maintain the carpet area in the article master. And the requirement was like whenever they enter the flat ID, bring the carpet area automatically from the article master. Okay, so in this way, we will learn how to do the implicit enhancement. Thank you.